what is going on ladies and gentlemen welcome to your 14 Photoshop tutorial and in this video I'm gonna be talking about the lasso marquee tool now the lasso tool is basically a selection tool like the rectangular or elliptical marquee tool however unlike these tools we aren't limited to a specific shape like a rectangle or a circle what the lasso tool allows you to do is it allows you to make a selection whenever you have like an abnormal shape like a head or Kirk's head right here. So make sure that you're working with a basic lasso tool, not the polygonal or magnetic lasso tool. We're going to be talking about these in uh, you know the upcoming tutorials. But in order to use the lasso tool, go ahead and get it selected. And you want to click and drag around your shape or whatever you want selected. So click and drag around here. Now obviously this is better than the rectangular or circle because we have complete freedom over abnormal shapes. The only drawback to this is you need very good hand-eye coordination to use it. So whenever you made your selection just go ahead and release the mouse and it's going to snap to the end and it's basically going to close your path and make a selection. So as you can see, like I said, complete freedom. The only drawback is if you, I don't know, maybe you had a lot of Red Bull and maybe you did a line of cocaine and you want to try to use this, it would be like, eh, 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 trying to make a selection, eh, 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 eh. can't do it because you're all coked up, got your little sugar high going on, wouldn't be the best tool for you. You might want to stick with something else. Now let me go ahead and make the selection again a little bit better. You know, I probably shouldn't have done that little cocaine routine. But there we go. We have Kirk's head selected. And just like the other marquee tools, we have the add, subtract, intersect. So if we want to go ahead and add, we can make another selection, and it's going to add it to the current selection. So now that we have Kirk's head selected, say we wanted to add his body into here, we'll just go ahead and select that and release. Now we have one giant selection of Kirk's entire body. And another thing that I want to tell you guys is... A lot of people have been asked me about this feather tool and they said that feather isn't working because let's say that they wanted to change the feather to 20 and then they go ahead and try to, I don't know, maybe cut this out. Well, they're like, oh, I cut it out, but my feather isn't working. Is it like broken? Is there a bug or something? Well, it isn't working because anytime you use your feather tool, you need to use it, you need to change the settings before you make the selection. So now anything that you make after this and try to cut it is going to be feathered out. So let me go ahead and show you guys what you need to do in order to make this feathered out. Go ahead and write normal or I said write like I'm uh, programming, making program tutorials though. Make a new selection, feather 20 pixels, and go ahead and select Kirk's whole body or you know whatever image you're working with. And now once you have that selected, you can go ahead and, I don't know, do whatever you want. Maybe you wanna, I don't know, select the inverse and cut that out. And this would give you a nice feathered image of your selection. So this is actually a pretty cool looking image of Kirk with nice feathered gradients coming out from his body in all directions. Now the last thing that I want to talk to you guys about is a nice little shortcut and let me just go ahead and open this up again. File open Kirk and it's that whenever you want to use straight lines temporarily you can go ahead and hold down the alt key on your keyboard and I think it's uh, something different actually I don't know if it's control or alt I've been using Photoshop on a uh, uh, the Mac and the PC so let me go ahead and see so in order to use a straight line I don't know maybe you want to select this door go ahead and hold alt on your keyboard yeah that's what it was alt and just go ahead and click and as you can see I'm getting perfectly straight lines just like this so now well I already have that feathered so that's why I changed to a different shape but as you can see whenever you hold down alt it's gonna give you perfectly straight lines so there you can go, uh, what I say, there you can go, there you go, there's the lasso tool. That is how you have complete freedom over your selections, and that is also how you correctly use the feather setting whenever you're using any selection tool. So thank you for watching, thank you Kirk for letting me use your image, and uh, everyone, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, and I'll see you guys next video.